Today I'd like to show you how I use 76 Insights as a member of my company's content marketing team. Now we have a watch list set up to show all the people who have been producing content uh, from our company. One of the great things about 76 Insights is it lets me see patterns. It lets me see which content resonated with our community lets me see which content didn't and it lets me see it very quickly across days. So here I have four days set up and what can I see? I can see that some content and in this case the red dots are our blog posts. Some of those pieces of content perform much better than other pieces. So let's take a look at this. April Fools brand pranks. Who's laughing now? 70 interactions. That one performed quite well. Hey B2B marketers don't just share with slide share. B2B content marketing on the rise. So those things performed relatively well. Other things not quite so well. A self-promotional post and Terry Fallis posting uh, about his new book. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to share uh, from uh, this particular post with my community. One of the things that we've set uh, 76 brand films up is so that it will actually take advantage of the way that I work in the normal course of affairs. And I work with the Hootsuite um, Chrome uh, plugin. So what I want to do is I just want to quickly share with my Twitter and Facebook communities uh, that that post was there. And this is a weekend day. I'm doing this on a weekend day. So what I'm going to say is uh, a weekend smile whoops I should spell smile correctly and I'm just going to auto schedule that as well uh, because I have auto schedule set up with uh, Hootsuite and there it goes it's gone out so I can see that I can share it very quickly from inside it doesn't require me to put in a lot of other plugins so what else can I see here well I can see that uh, Martin Waxman had a couple tweets uh, he that resonated well. He uh, was teaching a course at University of Toronto. Those aren't of real interest to me. I'm not going to share those. Um, I see there's uh, one of my colleagues who had shared, using the Thornley Fallis tweet, the B2B organizations earlier in the week. Uh, and she had five interactions. I want to see who those five interactions are. And so it very quickly takes me over to uh, the native Twitter app. Again, we've tried to design it so that you take advantage of what the applications have already built. And I can quite quickly see who the people are that have already shared that. And, oh, I noticed one of them is Strategy Marketing, um, a company out of Bristol, UK. Hi, mates. Uh, thanks very much for uh, sharing our content. And uh, I can then go back again. I can see, what are the green? Well, that's Google+. Plus. We play around with G+. Plus. It hasn't performed all that well for us. But I see there's one where uh, I was watching um, the uh, Tech News Today program on uh, Leo Laporte's Twit Network earlier in the week. And they changed format recently. Uh, and I liked it. And on my G+, Plus, a chap named Jeff Rasmussen, um, had posted that uh, he likes the new format. So I shared that and uh, said something more about what I think about it. And lo and behold, the host, Mike Elgin, um, he clearly uh, was monitoring his Google Plus because he responded and thanked me very much for that. So uh, isn't that the purpose for using social media so that we can see what's going on and we can actually share? Um, so that very quickly is how I use it. I'll use it to share. I'll use it to see what's going on in the normal course of affairs. I might share and schedule four or five uh, posts from here. The other thing that I can do is I can do a deep dive using the resonance score into what's actually gone on. So we saw that the April Fool's brand pranks post had a resonance score of 70. We saw that up here where it uh, ranked up there. And what I can actually do then is I can look more closely at what's that actually made of. So again, I said that I was looking for patterns. So I can see on this post that it was mostly tweets, Facebook, gestures, five Google plus one uh, blog comments and LinkedIn. Over here, I can see that uh, the Hey B2B Marketers one had tweets, 
Google Plus LinkedIn. I can also see over here that uh, we didn't get much Google Plus on the B2B, but we got a couple pins. And what I can do uh, is uh, if I want to look at something, I can just click in. And again, as I said, I can go over to the native app and I can see who actually was um, interacting with our content all in the name of, as a content marketer, being able to interact with people and not having to go into each different platform's uh, analytics package one at a time, but I can map everything that we use across all of the platforms and I can see it very, very quickly across platforms, interact with it and know what's important, share what's important and get a really good view of what we're up to. That's how I use 76 Insights as a content marketer.